Hey there everybody what is going on my name is Aditya and welcome back to this video series where we are going to be talking about semantic UI. Now if you guys do not know what semantic UI is it is a kind of UI library just like bootstrap or Zerb foundation where there are every single components like buttons, menus, grids etc. Now this is a quite popular framework with over 26,000 plus stars on github. This framework was supposed to be natural language based uh, framework because if you really see the code that is given in this website like literally you this this code is completely readable for you. You're just gonna be sh throwing in their UI three buttons then first button will be active and then there are two more buttons and you can literally just go ahead and toggle through all of them. And this is really simple to use because you know UI three buttons this is completely readable for you and this is not any kind of rocket science or something like that like you know in bootstrap you had to use something like btn hyphen danger blah 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 but here you just have to go ahead and throw this code in and it will just work. Now the best part of semantic UI that I really love is it is component based. Every single component is completely different. Like if you want just grid, you can get it. Like if you if you just only want let's say buttons, you get it. If you want menu, you get it. If you want tabs, you really just get everything uh, separately. That's the best part about semantic UI. In the next couple of videos, I'm going to be talking about every single component that is present in semantic UI and even we are going to be going through all of the things like theming, uh, the code that is used in here, like uh, whether it be LESS or whether it be NPM or Gulp, all the code we are going to be discussing about that and even we are going to be discussing about all the semantic UI features and even when the new updates will be coming out, I'll be showing you guys what are the new updates and basically that is it. So if you guys haven't seen what is it, you just you guys can just go ahead and go to this website semantic-ui.com and basically I'll be linking this website down in the description box below. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. See you guys in the next episode.